Hi, I'm Jessie Wong. I'm a physiotherapist from Vancouver, BC. I've been working as a therapist for the last five years, six years actually. And I became a therapist because I wanted to help empower people to become the best uh, version of, versions of themselves. I've always had a passion for strength and conditioning and fitness, and I've always wanted to integrate what I did previously as a personal trainer with um, my practice as a physiotherapist. I always found that being able to give people the tools, um, teach them how to move well, it's quite empowering. It's something that they can do on their own. And it also gives them the freedom of being in charge of their own health. And I think that's quite powerful because they don't always have to rely on an external factor. They don't have to rely on a therapist all the time. And I think that I think that's the, the movement that we should be moving towards is how can we help people become better versions of themselves on their own. When I first started working as a as a new grad, um, I actually used a lot of electrical modalities. I used a lot of heat pads, a lot of passive modalities, um, and then tried to incorporate you know, those pivums and pavums, which are small little movements of the joints. I didn't really know what I was doing, and I, I felt like I had to do it because that's what we learned in school. And now at our clinics, we don't even have any electrical modalities. Um, I focus more on listening to what the goals are of the, of the client and really focusing on that. And um, essentially how I treat is, is based off of what they want and less about what I feel like, what what I thought they needed. My advice for new grads is, you know what, you're, you're a great therapist already. A lot of the stuff that you learn in school and you've picked up over the last little while, they will help people. Education goes a long way. I think the biggest thing between myself as a therapist five years ago and today is really just the confidence and thinking about the overall experience of when someone comes in. They want to come in knowing that you can help them and they want to hear that. So even just saying like, you know what, you're going to be okay, it goes a long way. So having the confidence is the biggest thing. You already have the skill set to make people feel better.